Hey folks, this is not going to be the best video ever, but so last night I've had some battery issues. I think my CO2 detector has been going off a lot. And then last night my furnace decided to stop igniting. So I've tried, I tried everything. Eventually it came down to the fact that I think it was the uh, sale switch. Okay. I'm learning how to do this as I go. So this is not going to be a pretty step-by-step -step, and I'm not going to do it twice to show you, but I'll do my best to kind of show you. So now my camper, it's a Jayco J Feather 27 BHB. You'll see that the, um, the furnace is behind this. Okay. And it is, uh, underneath the refrigerator. So, let me flip the camera around and then I'll uh, kind of explain it to you. So again, it's behind this. So this is just screws that you take out. You take that out of the way. I also took the drawer out. You take the drawer out and then I took the whole mechanism out, which is just three screws so that I'd have more room to work. Okay. That's the unit there. Of course, here is the sail switch. It sits on this side. This is the side that sets against the wall naturally right they wouldn't make it so you could access it easily this is the side that you're going to be looking at when you take that cover off okay so the only screws you got to really worry about there's bracket screws that hold this thing in there all right there are these kind of brackets and there's just a couple screws so you just take those out, lay those to the side. You've got your vents that are hooked to it that just kind of pop in and they're, they're turned. You just have to kind of play with them. They sit in here to, you just got to mess with them a little bit to get those out. Kind of a pain in the butt, okay? Um, you've got your propane line. So make sure, turn your propane off, okay? Turn your propane off at the bottles. And what I did was I ran the stove until it went out uh, so that I would know that there was no propane left, okay? And then when you take this off, you're still gonna get a little propane come out, that's fine. Just let the air clear, make sure you're not gonna smark. Spark, uh, don't obviously be smoking or anything, okay? Um, now the other thing that I had to do was take the vent off outside and I'll show you that briefly. So there, You've got that one single vent that comes out. You're going to have to pull that off. And it's got some putty that goes around the edge. Okay. So there's a little bit of putty around it. You're going to want to replace that. And the dealership um, was nice enough to give me some of that. It comes in just a tape. The tape form there. Okay. Now, you got your propane line off, okay? You've got that off. The other thing you got to do is you've got this wiring harness, okay? And you can see here it's marked, but I also use some, uh, some plumber's tape and then uh, some 100 mile an hour tape to just mark some of the wires. And I made a rough little diagram. Also pulled the fuse out of here to make sure there was no power. And the wires connect into those. So it's, it's really important that you remember what goes where, mainly because you have two blues. And what I was told by the tech that I've been dealing with, if you mix these blues up, your, um, your furnace is gonna do weird stuff. So obviously you don't want that, you want it to work because it's cold and you want heat, all right? So, the sail switch is right there. So I'm gonna take it out and replace it with a new one. So you just got these two screws right here. You take out top and bottom, you slide it out, there it is. And then you gotta unhook these wires, which I'm not gonna do one-handed. And then I've got the new one. You've got a bracket and it's got directions with it to tell you exactly how to do it. So I'm gonna get that done. Okay, so that's the old one. This is the new one. Um, I can't tell 
that anything is wrong with it. So this may not fix my problem, uh, which would be disappointing. But if not, I've got a backup sail switch because they seem to fail a lot anyway. So basically what I did, just make sure, put it together just like the old one looks, and then hook the wires up one at a time just like the old one looked, uh, and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to throw this back together and um, get it installed back and see what we got. All right, so I got it back in there. I hooked up the propane line. Okay, hooked that back up. I've got the, uh, the wiring hooked back up. I'm leaving the vents unhooked. I hooked them up. You have to hook them up while it's in there anyway. I didn't put the brackets back on or anything. Um, I just want to kick this on and see. I ran, the, I ran a burner on the stove to make sure propane was coming through and let it run for a minute to blow, you know, getting air bubbles out of the line. I'm going to come over here. Turn it back on. I've got it set pretty high so it'll for sure come on. Yeah, hey, let's see what we got. It's blowing. It's trying to kick on. If you can hear it, it's trying to kick on, but it's not doing it. Let me try something. Okay, so that appears to have fixed it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. So what I didn't do before trying to kick it on was put the, uh, put the vent piece back in. And I guess just that little bit of difference, uh, that one little piece made that much of a difference um, because now it's working. So I guess it was the sail switch, um, which makes me happy because I didn't waste all that, that effort. Um, I've actually got to go fly, so I probably won't get to do a whole lot. I may hook up the vents and try it again. But um, yeah, so I mean, it, it's pretty simple. I didn't go into a whole lot of detail, but if you need a whole lot of detail, you might not want to try it yourself. Uh, but it's not very hard, and it's a common issue. Uh, I can't. I mean, this sail switch it moves. It seemingly does what it's supposed to, maybe in the internals of the mechanism or something. I, I don't know. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll help you out, out as much as I can. But I haven't done a whole lot of work on RVs, so uh, I guess I should make the disclaimer of I'm, I'm not a professional. All right. Till the next thing screws up. And I'd like to give a shout out to Dometic for making... Uh, unreliable products. Thanks.